Alright guys, I just finished uh, updating my Lumia to the latest Windows 10 preview build. The build number is 10,512 and yeah, there are about 2,000 bug fixes in this build and general performance improvements, stuff like that. So I'm gonna keep this video really short and just give you a quick overview on how the build performs and how the phone looks and feels. So yeah guys, let's just wait for this to finish and then I'll give you a quick preview. Stay tuned. Hey guys, the phone just finished configuring itself and the build number of this Windows 10 Mobile is 10,512. So as of today, August 16th, this is the latest build available for Windows phones. So there are no new features available here um, compared to the previous builds of Windows 10 uh, Mobile. What they have changed is the general performance of the phone. It's far better than the previous builds and some of the applications which weren't working are now working here. So for example, I showed you the movies and TV app was not working and now it's able to play the videos. So let's try that. Head over to videos and this video was there previously on the phone but it was not showing up. I left my phone idle for about an hour but it still won't show it but in this build it is showing up and it does play. So movies app works, that's good so I can watch my videos. And I've heard that there are general performance improvements in the Microsoft Edge web browser. So yeah, I really like Microsoft Edge because it's really fast and smooth. There's absolutely no need of Google Chrome here. So let's check out the photo application. Let's see if there are any differences here. So yeah, like I said, the change in the photo application is that you can set the wallpaper directly from the photo application so if I want to change my lock screen my previous lock screen is this one let's change it to this set as lock screen so that's working so for example if I want to change my background set as background pretty cool. So let's see if pinch to zoom is working because in the previous build I tested out the pinch to zoom feature was not working. Yeah, it is working but still it's not perfect like on Windows Phone 8.1. You can just double tap to zoom in and out. So you guys can see this blue dot encircled in a black circle. This is actually a really good feature and yeah you guys can see the cursor is currently here. So if you want to move your cursor around you just have to tap on the uh, different alphabets and this is actually pretty tedious because sometimes the entire words, words get selected. So to make this easier Microsoft has included this new feature. So all you gotta do is uh, keep your finger here and just swipe it in different directions to relocate the cursor. So if I wanna go up, I can do this. Go back in the alphabets.
And yeah, let's generally makes uh, seeking through words a lot, lot, lot easier. Alright, so let's head over to the settings. Swipe to, from top to bottom and tap on all settings. Again, there is absolutely nothing new here apart from the personalization now supports changing the wallpaper from here. And in previous build, this option wasn't working, so now it's working. It's nice. You can see the wallpaper changed. Let's change it again. And also, I'd like to point out that in the notification and action, you can see an option of LED here. So in fact, this phone does come with a notification LED, but yeah, it still doesn't work. The notification LED is somewhere over here. But no matter how many notifications appear, it will not light up. So that's a bummer and hopefully it will be available in the final build of Windows 10 for mobile. So fingers crossed. So I think that's it for this video guys. Hope you liked it. And hope this video helps you out in figuring out how Windows 10 for mobile performs on a Nokia Lumia 730. I really like this and hope Windows 10 releases pretty soon. Thank you guys for watching and do stay tuned for more.